Hello my little artists! Today we're going to be making a flower in art class. Make our flower. We're going to need about four toilet paper rolls, a pair of scissors, uh, some glue, and some paint. I'm using acrylic paint, but you can use whatever type of paint you have. Watercolor, washable, whichever you want. But remember, if you're using acrylic paint, one, make sure you've got an adult permission, and two, make sure you've got clothes on that you don't mind if it paint gets on it, that it's not going to come out. Alright, so first thing first, we are going to start by cutting our toilet paper rolls in half. Oh, also, one more thing, I have a magazine underneath my workspace today, because as you can see, I have some paint on my magazine already. I don't want to get my paint on the table or on the desk, so always put a magazine underneath or an old piece of newspaper or something underneath if you're going to paint. So, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut uh, these three in half across. And then my last one, I'm going to cut into four. One, two, three, four. So, to get started, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark kind of like about half. And then this one, I'm going to divide it the halves and halves, so it'll be into fourths. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it, it's not exact, but that's okay. And we're going to paint over these, so if you can still see the marker when you are done, that's okay. So, the best way to cut these is to kind of like squish them a little bit, not too much, uh, and then I'm going to cut. Now that I have all of my tubes, ready to go. I'm going to try to make them round again. Just kind of press them to make them round. And I'm going to be painting my tubes. I'm going to paint the inside and the outside. So I'm going to start by painting the outside first. And the tr good thing about when you paint the outside is you can put your fingers in the middle so you can get all the way around. Uh, so we're going to paint the outside first, then we're going to wait for that to dry. We'll paint the inside, wait for that to dry, and then we'll start our next step. So I'm going to take some paint, put it in a palette or on a plastic or paper tray, and I'm going to get started with my painting. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so now the outside of my toilet paper rolls are dry. So look, I can see I can move my finger across and I don't have any paint on my finger. So now I'm going to start by painting the inside. So hold the outside and you're just going to gently paint the inside. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so now that my toilet paper rolls are completely dry on the outside and on the inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of look and see about how far down I'm going to cut when I cut my toilet paper rolls. So you can see my finger at the bottom, so I'm going to kind of keep the, uh, thought in my mind about how low I want this to go, so about right here. So now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these into some skinny little strips and here we go.
Okay, so now that we've cut out our big, our bigger pieces of toilet paper rolls first, now we're gonna start with these smaller ones. So the smaller ones, once again, I'm only gonna go to about the length of my finger, and I'm gonna stop right there, so these are a lot smaller. Okay, so we have all of our pieces nice and cut, and I have one little one that I accidentally cut in half, but that's okay, because I'm gonna roll him up anyway. So to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look and see which one of these I want on the outside of my flower, and I think I'm gonna pick this guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out the little pieces that I cut, Kind of make it look like a flower. Then I'm going to take another one of these and I'm going to kind of put it on the inside. And I'm going to squeeze it down in there as much as I can and I might need to bend it a little bit to get it in there but that's okay. And I'm going to push this down a little bit and see my flower starting to grow. I'm going to pick the next one and I'm going to bend it a little bit to get it all in there. And I'm going to spread it out on the inside. Okay. And now we're starting to get a flower. Alright. As you can see, it gets a little bit tighter every time I go in here. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. I put it in. So now when I put it in my flower, I'm just going to kind of fit it to the shape that I want it to be. Make it just as small as I need so it fits right in the middle. Okay. see my flower is starting to get even bigger. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of press it down on my hand to kind of make it flatten out a little bit. Oop, and this guy fell up, so something like this happens and it falls out. Just put your little petals back in there. Okay. Last one of the big ones and I'm going to move on to the little ones. Just going to put this in here. it in there. Alright, so now I'm going to take my little pieces and I'm going to roll these up really, really small. I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to cut and roll this up really nice and small. I have two extra, but it looks like that's all I'm going to be able to fit for this one. Now, uh, when you look at the back of this, uh, you can see where there's some extra space from my earlier ones. If you want to make sure that there's no extra space, you could cut them like we did for the inside ones, so that way there's no extra space over here. But I think this looks pretty, go pretty good. Um, so now what we're going to do, uh, you've got a few options here. Um, so the first option that you could do is you could put this on a card. So maybe you're making cards for nurses, maybe you are making a card for a family member or a friend. Uh, so if that's the case, what you're going to do is whatever paper you're going to be gluing on, you just take some glue 
and do it on the back. Now, if you want to save this for later, uh, what you're going to do, I have a piece of paper that I used a little bit of it earlier, but not the whole thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flower, I'm going to take a little pencil, and I'm just going to trace the outside loop. Grab a pencil, I'm going to trace the outside loop. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut this out. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my, uh, my flower. piece of paper. I'm gonna, don't be shy about adding glue. We want to add a lot of glue to this. Okay? And then I'm just gonna take this glue and put it right on top of my flower. And it's okay if the glue drips down a little bit. That's kind of what you want it to do. You want to make sure this sticks completely. So we're gonna wait for this to dry and we'll check back. It, there is your completed flower. You can add this to a card, you can make a few more in different colors for a bouquet. The possibilities are endless. I hope to see y'all at Art Show and Tell today and I hope you have a wonderful day.